Hello and welcome back. You are watching The Sassandra Show. Yesterday, we started talking about the seven stages of grief and we completed four of them, which are shock, denial, anger, and bargaining. Today, we start with part two with number five, which is depression. I am so honored to be sitting here with you all. Uh, again, I am so sorry to, to hear about all of your losses. I am at a loss for words myself. It's very hard. I'm a mom. I have three children. Yeah. And um, just hearing your stories make us realize that it could have been me. Mm -hmm. It could have yes. been my children. Um, so we're going to talk about the next stage, which is depression. Depression during this stage, you know, your emotions turn toward the true weight of your grief. Your mood may become serious as you feel the reality of your loss hanging over you. What did this stage look like for you guys? Well, for me, um, yes, thank Ms. God, Tandy. I come from a praying family. So Amen. Um, I didn't get a chance to be very, very depressed because mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of family. Some people get depressed because they don't have no one. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I could speak out and talk, so some people don't have that, right. and um, so I didn't really, it bothered me some, but I didn't get into that mode where I didn't want to do anything. Um, it will have you like that if yes, you can't sleep. you bound, yes. but you had family yes, surrounding you. Yes, and I had you. other kids, so it helped a lot, too, That's good. for you to not just fall in that deep depression, because mm. it's easy. It, I'm sure it is. What about you, Tony? Uh. I actually did go through depression, even though with a lot of family and friends around, mm -hmm. I tend to shut down. Mm -hmm. I stopped eating, staying up late, couldn't go to sleep, mm -hmm. probably sleep three, four hours. Didn't want to eat nothing, just didn't want to be bothered, didn't want to go anywhere, do anything. But the support group I had, they forced me to do things, made me eat, make sure I was good, call, so I won't hit it too deep right. into depression. Right. You, get, you isolate yourself from the loved ones because they love to say, even the church, mm -hmm. say they understand, but they truly don't understand how the you feel. The emptiness. It'd be empty and mm. it's no return. Right. I mean, I know what it feels like to just wonder where my daughter is if I don't know where mm -hmm. she is for a short amount of time. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. so let's go on to testing. Number six is testing. Um, as it's an often overlooked stage of grief. Um, as a person meanders through the stages of grief, they may arrive at a period of testing. The stage of grief is similar to bargaining, but typically it occurs later. Like during testing, a person experiments with different ways to manage their grief. Did you all have different experimental ways you try to manage your grief from yes. losing your child? <laughs> Yes, please, Miss. Okay, joining Bullets for Life. Mm -hmm. I, I join a lot of different organizations. Mm -hmm. um, so other mothers, some people just like you say can't talk, right. or they see me. I even talk to other people, and they look at me, especially men, talking about they would have lost their mind. How you do it? Because I lost two myself. Um, and you I lost two children. Yes, ma'am. Um, and they um, like how you do it. How you still smile. You know, I said, I want y'all to look at me if I could get over it, not get over it, but you see me get smiling and yes. get through it. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to draw from me, yes. strength from me, mm -hmm. and say, wow, if she could do it, maybe I can too. Talk to yes. me. I help them all the time. I'm always with her That's or amazing. anything, or organization, so people could see that can't come out. I used to not talk. I used to, you couldn't even hear my voice. And now you you just yeah. speak up for everyone. That's yes, beautiful. You found your voice. Yes. Yes. What about you, Miss Toya? I ain't found my voice. You I haven't just, yet? No. I feel you. I feel you. I'm still speechless. He just told me I need to talk. I can't. She's not ready yet. I'm not ready. That's okay. And that's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming today. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I'm so yes. sorry. So... 
Step number seven is acceptance. Never gonna accept. Has everyone? No, well, we know everyone hasn't gotten to number seven because Toya's like, there's no way she can't even get Sheen at six. Who's at seven? Who's at acceptance? Uh, acceptance is just like saying you accept it, but you'll never accept that your your child got slayed, your child um, didn't live out her full potential. Mm -hmm. And then when you raise your children to be good citizens, mm -hmm. to give back, and just have to find positive things to do for your life, in your life, just to represent your child. I make brownies on my daughter's anniversary. I think of um, either you're going to grieve or you're going to celebrate. Yes, ma'am. So you choose to celebrate. So you're you at a stage of celebrating. So you got to celebrate. And that's regardless. a form of acceptance. So yeah. acceptance is accepting the unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Acceptance doesn't mean uh, that you're not experiencing mm -hmm. distress, emotions, mm -hmm. or trauma. It does not mean you condone what is happening. Mm -hmm. It means noticing what you are fighting against, mm -hmm. validating your desire to fight against it, mm -hmm. and reorienting, reorienting yourself to the reality of the moment that, that you're in. That, makes sense. that yes. you're in. Mm -hmm. that make a lot of sense. And that might make it a little easier mm -hmm. yeah, with getting easier. through those mm -hmm. steps. From shock to denial, anger, bargaining, depression, testing to acceptance. And you're going to be okay. Can I say something? It's really hard because I'm around these parents. I have three sons of my own, mm. right? My oldest is 29, 25, and my, old, my baby's going to be 18. Mm -hmm. So being a mom is why this movement, I started this movement. But I'm mm. around these families every day. Wow. Mother's coming to me. I'm getting a phone call. I just lost my child. How can I get a bracelet to honor them? But to get to acceptance is hard. When every single day we're losing yeah. a child to gun violence, yes, it's like they have to repeat that feeling. Like mm -hmm. she, this baby got shot, this, and then she have to relive that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So every mm -hmm. single day until gun violence is stopped somehow, see somehow, they're gonna keep reliving this. Yes, you know, and that's why I hear all day, every day. So it's gonna be hard when we when gun violence is every single day. It's so every true, single Susan. day. I want to say, first of all, thank you so much for the organization. It is so powerful. Yes. It is everything. I see how they're leaning into you for strength. Yes. And that means everything. So yes. thank you. Yeah, she does it in Tampa, Bullets for Life Tampa. Really? Yes. So she's made hundreds of bracelets and give away to Franco. We give wow. it to the mothers that we need. Awesome. Yeah. Thank yes. you so much. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a short break, um, and we will be right back. Y'all hold on. Don't y'all go nowhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 